Have you ever thought about the physics of a coaster falling down a drop off like this? This is the Pepsi Max Big One at Blackpool Pleasure Beach in Blackpool in England. It has a winding track that is over 5,000 feet long. Coasters such as this one are dependent on the laws of physics. Today we are going to talk about how roller coasters are related to the law of conservation of energy and briefly about the law of conservation of momentum. Conservation of momentum is a fundamental law of physics which states that the momentum of a system is constant if there are no external forces acting on the system while the law of conservation of energy states that the total amount of energy in an isolated system remains constant although it may change forms. Momentum is only slightly related to this system, by the way, in which acceleration is needed to get the roller coaster at such high velocity. Another important principle of roller coasters is their constant transition between energy states. When the chain hauls the cars to the top of the first hill, it does work on the cars, thus endowing them with potential energy. As the cars descend into the first valley, much of the stored energy is turned into kinetic energy, the energy of motion. The roller coaster gains kinetic energy and speed at the expense of potential energy. Since kinetic energy is related to speed they both increase together, kinetic energy equals one half times the mass times the velocity squared. The roller coaster reaches maximum speed at the bottom of the first hill when all of its gravitational potential energy has been converted to kinetic energy. The roller coaster then rushes up the following loops and hills, slowing down and converting some of its kinetic energy back into gravitational potential energy. The conversion of energy back and forth between the two forms continues, but energy is gradually lost to friction and air resistance so that the ride becomes less and less intense until it finally comes to a stop. Each roller coaster is designed so that the first hill and initial climb is the largest. This maximizes the potential energy which helps the coaster have more kinetic energy and as well last longer and become more intense for the riders. Some experts say coasters are just about as tall and fast as they can get. The next big thing could be virtual reality roller coasters. A unique virtual reality coaster launched in 2004 at Space Center in Bremen, Germany. The park has since closed, but the ride was a hit with visitors, and the concept could be refined and revived. Here's the idea. Riders on the Galaxy Express coaster watch a film on monitors about a foot in front of them as they simultaneously roll over 1,600 feet of coaster track. It's designed to make you feel as if you were blasting off on a tour of the galaxy in 2075, dodging asteroids and passing planets.